morning everyone. We're still in Marquette. Just got up at 7.30 uh, on the bike. And we're gonna get some coffee. And uh, thinking on our way. It's a nice place though. It's a cool town. Kinda, it's weird, it kinda shows up out of nowhere. You're, you're, you know, you're in this complete, you know, deserted Northern Peninsula area where there's just no one around. And then you come across this town. It seems to almost come out of nowhere. All right, so we're leaving Marquette. I know that's how, how to pronounce it. Uh, I want to go by this freaking dome thing. This is where all of the university sporting events happen. Um, <laughs> the, the the person at the uh, the cocktail bar last night told me this is where all the big concerts happen in town, and I really <laughs> I really avoid asking them um, what concerts happen here. Like it's a long drive to get up here from everywhere. I don't think this would be on someone's route, but maybe the college town brings out enough people that promoters think it's worth it. It's long winters. Uh, I'm once again avoiding Cannon Shot's route because um, <clears throat> I'm sore after yesterday's uh, off-road adventures and I'm a little dehydrated and so I'm just going to avoid any problems today. Um, so I'm just going to be on pavement. Let's get my body one day to rest. And then tomorrow I'll pick back up on his route. I'm going to be right by his route tonight. So I'm ending at the next segment. But uh, instead of going west on County Road, I think it was 510, 505, 501. It's, somewhat, it's a Levi's jean size. Uh, I'm taking the, um, the Marine Road up to Independence Lake, which is also on his route. And then going to, I think it's Skeen or Scan, Skane, uh, another town. Again, just barely off his route. So I'm not doing the fastest route to Hodden. And I'm going up to Copper Bay, it's my final destination, today, and then I'll ride back south to the campsite tonight. It's going to be a long day, we're talking about eight hours in the saddle to, to, to keep on schedule. So, that's the day, in a nutshell, uh, let's, let's do it. It's another, uh... Coast Guard Lighthouse. Part of this route goes to uh, Skane, and so even though I'm not following his uh, route anymore, I am going to Skane, which is a dirt road. It's 21 miles of this, but it is a maintained road. It's pretty. I'll probably see some deer back here. I've seen a lot of deer so far, like four so far this morning. Uh, a few have crossed before I came upon them. Road. I'm actually, I'm actually a little surprised that uh, Garmin took me down it. So I was driving into uh, Dodge City. It was kind of funny because it looked like a, you know, an old Western town. Literally getting out of Dodge. So it's. 15 miles back that way, or 10 miles this way. And we have a bridge that's out. Look at this serenity though. That's nice. Beautiful. Uh, so this bridge is obviously out. Well, I don't know about that. I think the bridge is actually passable on a bike my size, as long as I don't slip and fall. It is a dry bridge. Alternatively, we've got this here, which is always the fun, ill-fated water crossing. Looks like if I go that direction and follow this here, 
Don't go right there, but follow the right hand side. We'll be through just fine. I just climbed a really long hill. It was all sand. I was actually sitting on the back wheel to lighten up the front to make up that hill. We came out of nowhere too. I'm still in it. See, I'm still in it, but that was, that was a climb. I'm like, if I drop this thing, I'm gonna have to like roll the bike down the hill. I'm definitely not going left here. Uh, going left. It's going to keep getting worse until the halfway point of the road. So that makes sense. So this is a 22 mile road. And I'm about 12, 11 or 12 miles into it. We've got 13 miles to go, so presumably it'll get a little bit worse and then it'll finally start getting better, but it's going to keep getting worse for a little bit longer. The question is, where does your comfort level end? We have to now, we're in it. This reminds me so much of like riding in Vermont, which is why I'm being extra careful because I don't, I don't take these kind of roads in Vermont when I'm fully loaded. Yeah, which direction to go? Not too bad. I think I screwed up. The last four days, the GoPro has been telling me when I shut it down, like every fourth or fifth video recording, uh, it keeps telling me the file has been repaired. I don't know which way to go, honestly. I don't know which way to go. That's fine. Um, and I thought, oh good, there was a problem with the file, it's been repaired. Because what if the middle piece doesn't work? Okay. I think we're okay. Oh, we grabbed some, uh, we, how deep is this? I gotta walk this. I have to walk this. What the hell? I'm, I don't wanna go back. All right, well it's draining. This could just go so sideways. And there's no I can't bushwhack it in the GS. Shit. See, no hero shit. Always walk it first.
Still can't believe I got through that. It took me like 15 minutes roughly to make the crossing work because I just had to check every inch that I was gonna drive through. So there are two roads into Skane, Michigan. Two. I took, <laughs> I took the worst one. The other way into town, I'm not on it yet, I'm, I'm almost, I'm four miles from town. I took the 25 mile road that wasn't maintained and had no one living on it, uh, except for the, like, the first mile and the last mile. It took me about an hour to go the 25 miles, which actually is pretty good. The other road is a paved interstate just like this. It's like four lane, I think. And uh, I didn't take that one. I took the other one. <laughs> post office oh it is the post office we've made it to Leons Ons. so uh, the GPX route from Cannon Shot has me going on an unnamed road and it dips way down it's not even on the map. Um, Chassel is the next town he puts me into. So I am going to go there. <laughs> I am not going to take his route. Uh, puts me into Chassel at 12 p.m. Which puts me at the tip of the, the iceberg, I assume around two o'clock. And then it takes me about three hours to get back south. I think if I just you know take not main roads, I'll still have a nice riding day. I just need to like get to where I need to go quicker. I'm taking a left here. Give you an idea what I was talking about earlier. Uh, we were on that little tiny peninsula over there. We were gonna go out there and um, dead end. There's nothing up there. Instead, we're gonna be doing the big peninsula, which goes way up there. So. Yeah, it was going to be a waste of my time. Nothing was up there. It was all ATV trails. All right. Well. <sighs> Hop off for a second. Stretch the legs. Well, I think north of Hodden is going to be pretty bad roads. We're going to be we're going to be in some in some crap, I think. So Hodden's our last chance to uh, refuel. I'll get some water, get some gas. I only need too much gas. I'll get some gas and um, I'm eat a protein bar. I'm not really that hungry after this morning's breakfast. Huge breakfast. Michigan Tech. I'm gonna go to Dale's Pasties. And no, it's not a strip club. It's, some, it's supposed to be some kind of a... Um... All right, we're gonna actually be going... Uh... We're actually gonna be going back through Halden later today. Uh... Across this bridge later, I think. So we're going to be uh, going right uh, up that way, and then we come back, I think this way, over there on the, on the left. I don't know. That's what it looked like on my GPS thing. Uh, so we're going Halden into Hancock, and now we're going right. We should be over here, it says. Quincy Smelting Works. Look at this. Wow. I'm glad I didn't miss this. Is that all coal? 
Is that iron? Look at that, as the train goes right in and dumps its load. Nice. I'm glad I noticed that my map was off. This. I gotta get a picture into this thing. <laughs> Look at this. I think we're gonna take a left there, aren't we? Yeah, I think we're gonna take a left there. Yeah, we'll take a left here, but I wanna get a picture of this, man. Don't fall. Don't do it. No, it's gonna fall. Here we got this thing now. They get back on the road. <laughs> All right. So now, where the frig am I? Neither is the rider. It's already 1.30 p.m., so I just, I gotta get back on the main road. I'm never gonna get through this trip. <laughs> All right, so, here's what we're gonna do. I've, oh nice. I've gotten off this route again, because it was gonna be all ATV trails for 40, 47 miles or so. Um, I put, I keyed in the final destination that he put in, which is the very top of the peninsula. I put that in um, and said, take me on the fastest route. And it's 34 miles, it appears, of pavement on 26, no, 41 north. So I'm, I'm skipping on the foot on the right he did. It would have been like three or four hours. But this is 45 minutes to dirt. And then it looks like about seven miles of dirt that are unpaved roads. It looks like ATV trails. And so I'm going to basically still get to the highest point, which is one of my goals, but do it through as much pavement as possible so I can make it back to the campsite tonight by six or seven o'clock. So this is supposedly a uh, ghost town up here. It's funny because the the park sign. Oh, look at the old foundation. I'm not gonna go up here any further. The park sign said Central Ghost Town closed for the season, and I thought, <laughs> I thought, how how do you close a ghost town for the season? I'm gonna turn around. We're close, guys. We're like 15 miles away from the end. This will be there in 30 minutes. 7.5 miles to High Rock. That's where we want to go. And the road has officially ended. High Rock Bay. Yeah. This is the very top of Michigan. Uh, Horseshoe Bay was 1.5 miles that way. I wanted to go to, I think it's High Rock Harbor, which is seven miles this way. And the, uh, <laughs> the sign said, warning, extreme rough road. <laughs> like, man, if you had only seen what I've been through the past two days, I highly doubt this is an extreme rough road. them go through so they said the uh, the water up there goes uh, up to his fenders which is about where my air intake is so uh, I told him I'll go down until I can't go any further and I'll turn around um, oh, 
At least I found a place to camp tonight if I get stuck up here. <laughs> um, that is a shame because I wanted to get to the very top of the of the state. Hold on. Um, it's two miles. He said, well, you could probably park and then, you know, walk the rest of the way, which is a fair point. We had to come up though and go straight forward. Or up the hill, I mean. Muddy. Unfortunately, I have to do a stick test or just walk into it. Oh, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely bit me in the ass before. Okay, so the uh, the folks in the uh, the red forerunner, black forerunner, um, told confirmed that there definitely is a two foot deep hole. Uh, they said it's not too bad. It's actually there's no, they didn't lose any traction or grip. They were able to get through it just fine. They went through slowly. The edges aren't that deep. Um, and that you know don't don't wuss out because it's doable and they paused and i said well i'm not going to hold you accountable if i get stuck or something <laughs> this always gets risky because you can't put your right foot down if you get stuck this is always a risky situation <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> made that through that was that was very spicy dicey right on the edge man <laughs> seriously right on the edge of that of me sliding off that thing and then dumping it on the right side <sighs> we're very close to the end of this point if i if i get stuck and have to stop i'm just gonna walk the rest of the way because i really want to get to the very top so this is our this is our hole this is our hole. Yeah, it must be. All right, let's check it out. I didn't walk through the other side yet. I don't have to. This side here is ankle deep. I gotta dodge these trees. And go under those, but yeah. Ankle deep. Oh, someone lost. Someone lost the front of their their vehicle's uh, fender. <laughs> Ankle deep. Yeah, he told me that if I made it this far, I'm fine. And then I'm half a mile away, which is nice. So yeah, keep right. I told him I did a stick test. He's like, oh, you're smarter than most. Most guys just go right to the middle and then get stuck. But this is, he said this has a, has a rocky bottom. We're taking it slow. We're not gonna, we're not gonna go through. There we go. Oh, that was easy. 
that was, that was the thing. I'd rather it be, I'd rather it be easy um, after checking than not checking and getting a real pickle. You said I want to go to the right up here? Oh, it is. We're good. Whew. Whew. Same thing. Keep left. He's right though. They are a rocky bottom. I'm going straight over there. Luckily, I'll be able to go back out of here much faster later. <laughs> oh, that was a drop off. Made it through though. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, didn't notice that drop off. Oh, we're very close now. He's at half a mile once we get to the fourth. All of this trip is to get to the very northern part of Michigan. Then we're going to do it. right side this time. No, I'll go left because I can exit straight out. There's still a big hole up here. We're not out of the woods yet. Oh, that's odd. Okay. You, you, you don't get worse. That was deep. That was very deep. I see uh, a lake. Guys, we made it. We made it. The very tip of Michigan. I just want to show you guys. There's one person up here. So um, the drone has a range of like two miles or three miles or something crazy. And I tested it <laughs> by going, oh, you can't see it, can you? I went all the way out oops, to that lighthouse. Uh, well, I stopped short of about half a mile because uh, I was at, I was at two miles away and the, the, <clears throat> the remote controller still had full bars, but, uh, I was actually concerned more about the drone being able to get back because I spent half the battery getting out there. <laughs> uh, and you can see over here, there's a couple of shipping vessels way out there in the distance. See it there? Moving stuff around the lake. So, um, this is, to my knowledge, 
the um, the most northern point of Michigan. This water. I need to cleanse myself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. How beautiful that is. I'm just, I'm just stoked I got to make it up here before. I'm, I'm not making it down to that campsite by 6 p.m., that's for sure. But um, I wanted to make it up here, and I did. Aren't the GS's brilliant bikes? <laughs> it's, I didn't get up here. That bike got up here. <laughs> I really should have just paid for a camping pass and camped up here. It's so serene and quiet up here that you can actually hear the engine noises from those boats that are way out there, the diesel engines. You can hear a, sm a faint whir of them. It's kind of crazy. Even though they're three to five, 10 miles away. All right, well, <laughs> back on the trail, back south again. I did find a different route home. It's paved, but um, I'll get I'll get as far as I can. Man, just it's so it's so relaxing. I can't get over it. How relaxing it is. All right, guys, I got, I got to get going. I've been here for half an hour just just sort of basking in the feeling of success of riding to the top of Michigan. Um, it only took two days to get up here from, from Canada, but that was me taking a lot of dirt roads. So if you're on the interstate, you could probably get up here in a day and a half. All right, I got I to gotta get out of here. <laughs> there you go. Just made it up the top of Michigan. I guess you could say I'm a superior rider. It's Lake Superior. <laughs> Lake Superior. <sighs> All right. Well, it's funny. It, tell, it tells me to go along the beach to get on that road. It's like a, it's like a 10 mile away road over there, the crab, horseshoe crab, whatever thing. Like, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna drive along the beach through all the shrubs, stupid Carmen. Um, I'm not gonna record this whole way back unless something exciting happens, in which case I'll see you guys back at the uh, highway. I saw some ice by the way out there, which was super cool to see like on like in the rocks, there were still some pieces of ice from winter time that was just forged on there. I don't see it anymore. There were some back there, but it's all gone now. Uh, 26 South, nice freaking road, Michigan. I've been, I've been doing like stuff like this for the last like 15 miles it's nice this was the correct way to go back to Stoughton this was the correct way it's not the fastest way Ooh, gravel. but it was certainly the correct way this freaking guy poor girl this person that lives there. What a insane setup.
I have to have, have absolutely nothing going on in my life to want to live up here. And I mean that in a nice way. It's just, this is a re level of remote that is remarkable. Well, they're, they're an hour from the nearest city. And I'm longer from the nearest city, but this is, but from like, from an airport, I'm two hours. You're, you're basically Canadian up here. It's amazing. I just wanted to stop for a second and appreciate this. How does this body of water not have its own gravitational pull? Like, like tides. Does it have tides? It should. We're going back to uh, Halden or Stalton or something. I chose to take a different road, obviously. Instead of taking 41, uh, I'm taking 26. And it's maintained, but uh, gravel. I saw this place earlier from the road, but I was on 41. I was on the other side down the hill, and I'm like, what is this thing? That's huge. Turns out it's the Quincy Mine, and during business hours, uh, you can actually take tours. They take you into the mine. But like, look how like well-preserved this place is. They just left for the day, but... I don't know what kind of mine it was, but like you've got all this... All the infrastructure and stuff is still here, but like... There's stuff to sort of just check out. A cooling pond. There's a little house there. Oh, you got a little mine car? Miner's house? Wow. Neat. This is very well preserved. Neat. 1918 hoist house. I want to go down in the mine. Could you imagine Memorial Day week in Vermont, state parks being this empty? <laughs> this is this is my campsite, 37. There, it says no dogs on beach, but I might crawl on all fours. There's no one here. Another winning camp spot, thanks to uh, the completely empty Memorial Day weekend up in Northern Michigan. I, <laughs> I, I've been using, you know, the local camping apps, Helic Hip Camp, to find stuff. And then I'm like, well, let me see if there's anything on the state of Michigan. And uh, everything was green. There are a lot of mosquitoes, but those will calm down after a bit. Look at this. Seems like a BMW over there. Don't get this. Don't get this. Not good. Tastes terrible. Don't get this. Instead, get this. That's better. Get that instead. PBR. Nasty chowder. Flake. Beautiful, right? 